Council. On a different note now, the Durban Film Mart takes place during the Durban International Film Festival and is essentially a skills development, finance and co-production platform for African filmmakers who have documentary and feature film projects in development. To find out more, we are joined on the line by Steve McPherson, former NASA engineer and current Global Chief Technology Officer of the award-winning visual effects company Frame Store Group in the United Kingdom. Thank you for joining us here on S. CFM. First off, what is so significant about the Full Mart, or is it just another workshop, or is there more to it? Uh, hi, Jillian. Thanks for having me. And uh, this is, um, for me, it's part of uh, the way that we are looking at, at film as an international uh, phenomena. And so we're in London, but increasingly we're working around around the world. So when the opportunity came to come to South Africa. Uh, it was it was uh, very exciting, and what really got me was the theme of the film art and the, the film festival, which was uh, telling African stories. And in what way do you think that the film mart will actually help aspiring filmmakers, African, South African, uh, on a practical level? Well, I think one thing about films is that uh, you know films aren't made by individuals. Films are made by groups of people who are like-minded. And so a big part of it is the community. And uh, I spent the past 15 years in London, in Soho, and a big part of what makes Soho work is, is the community. And even though we're competing houses, so there's Frame Store, there's the Moving Picture Company, there's the Mill, um, there's Double Negative, mm-hmm. we have a lot of people who have worked for each other's companies. So we have a very strong community, and, and we help each other in a lot of ways. And it's, it's really exciting because... Being here in Durban, first off, it wasn't what I expected. I didn't anticipate that I was leaving rainy London for a sun-kissed beach coast. So that was a pleasant mm-hmm. surprise. And then also, it's, it's, um, it reminds me of, of when I first arrived in London. And it reminds me of all those people, all the, the excitement and enthusiasm. reminds me of the early days of Soho. Mm-hmm. And uh, just uh, very briefly, what does it actually mean for aspiring filmmakers in South Africa? Are there opportunities that come with people who attend the film art? Well, in the same way that London has a community, being in the film art and being around people who are interested in making films and connecting up with people and, and networking, um, it's, it's an incredibly important. And so coming back to that idea that films are made by individuals, the more people you know as projects come up, you might work with you know, Joe today and Tom tomorrow, and uh, it's it's important to meet those people. It's important to see what people. It's important to hear the stories. I've seen three films that were absolutely brilliant. Uh, Elowani, which opened the show, was great, and Gray Matter was was a really thoughtful, uh, a really surreal film that was uh, that was very interesting. And uh, Man on Ground is just such a superb piece of work. And I'd not have seen these films if I hadn't come here. So I think being here. Seeing films that are exciting and thought-provoking and being with people who, who want to make films and who are taking whatever resources they can and trying to make it, well, you have to be together to make something happen. And so the film art brings people together. Tony Monty does a fantastic job. She's been a great host. And um, we've got Ross Jossen, too, who runs a company called COA. And they're really at the center, and it's people that make it happen. And, and you've got to be here to meet the people. Well, I'm sure there are people uh, listening tonight be interested to find out more. The website, if you want more information, is www.durbanfilmmart.com. That's www.durbanfilmmart.com.